Good afternoon, wherever you may be, and welcome to the Rife Gymnasium here at the College of St. Scholastica. Today we have Mayak basketball in store for you as the Knights from Carlton will take on the St. Scholastica Saints. Hello and welcome to the Mayak Sports Network and those tuning in on KDHL. I'm Cameron Green. I'll be your play-by-play -play man this afternoon. We have two teams at the tail of two stories so far this season. St. Scholastica is 2-15 and overall this year. They've dropped their last six, including three of those last six games have been by 30 or more points. So here today on Alumni Day, St. Scholastica looks to get back on the right track. Meanwhile, on the other side, the Knights, they're fighting to make the Mayak playoff stage. They come today 10-7 and seven on the year, which puts them fourth in the Mayak. And as we speak today, they have winners of three of their last four. And we're underway here from Duluth. We'll start you with starting lineups here first for the Knights. Number three, Spencer Getz. Number four, Alex Gibbons. Number 14, Luke Harris. Number 20, Sam Coling. And number 25, Matt Bonovitz. That's the starting lineup for Ryan Kershaw in his second season. Starting off through the Knights, going up strong. Can't get the rebound. Right there, fighting for it is Luke Harris. He's the leading scorer on this Knights team. Saints are going to come away with it. For a strong rebound from Kevin Thomas. Matthew Ojulu going to get the hook shot. Not Will not go. And there's going to be a foul on Ojulu. And it'll go the other way in the direction of the Knights. For the Saints, starting Coy Nelson, number three, gets the second start of the year for him. Number four, Jeff Moore, the senior. Number 12, senior Noah Winesett. Number 13, the senior Kevin Thomas. And the junior making his third start this season. Number 35 is Matho Ojulu. Knights here working around to get their motion offense going. Banovitz with it. Top of key going to the elbow to Getz. Getz going over Nelson. And yes, give it to go for the first time tonight. So Spencer Getz will get his first point. The junior from Chaska, Minnesota, and Chaska High School gets it started for Carlton this afternoon. Moore has it now on top of the key, looking for a flare screen. Finds Winesett in the wing. Winesett going to his right. Kick out Nelson. Three-pointer. Not going to go. Rebound will go in the direction of the Knights. Poked away for a second by Jeff Moore, and they're going to call a reach and foul on Moore. So the Saints have already picked up two fouls here. We're just a little over a minute here underway. Moore will pick up his first foul. Julie picked up a foul a minute earlier. So the Saints already looking at maybe some trouble that might be coming in the bonus here. It's just a minute in with two fouls. Luke Harris will bring it up here for the Knights. Give it off here to Getz on the left wing. Trying to find a backdoor cutting Vanovitz. Here's a skip pass to Gibbons for three. Not going to go. Vanovitz able to come away with the rebound. Being guarded by Ojulu. He wants to go up strong. Right hook. Not going to go. Tipped around. And the rebound's going to go to Ojulu. A strong rebound there from the junior. And now Noah Weinstein will get it started here for the Saints offense. Coy Nelson, the point guard on this team. Trying to make a move, get to the basket. Weinstein thought about the three-point and now puts it on the floor. Being double teamed off the screen. Here's a pass to Jeff Moore. Three-pointer, not going to go. Rebound will go to Kevin Thomas. Power dribble for Thomas. He goes up strong and he'll go to the free throw line for two shots. As Kevin Thomas there kept that possession alive for St. Scholastica with the extra rebound. And the foul will go there on Sam Coling. So Thomas will go to the line for two shots. St. Scholastic on the year entering today about 59% from the free throw line so far. So we'll see Thomas will go to the line here for the first two for St. Scholastica. Can't get that first one to go. Let's go here for one more here trying to get the Saints first points on the board. Thomas entering today a 41.7% free throw shooter. So it's not, it's not automatic here for Thomas so far. Thomas can't get that second one to go rebound's going to go over there to Spencer Getz moving quickly here is the Knights here's a driving polling now kick it out Gibbons Getz with it driving kick out three for Benevitz yes Matt Benevitz now up to his first three points of the game the Knights now broken out with a 5 nothing lead here as we're just about two minutes in here from Duluth. Winesett driving. Thought about the mid-range jumper. He'll kick it out to Nelson on the left wing. Trying to work down low to Ojulu. Here's Winesett. Three-pointer. Not going to go. Rebound will go to Banavets. Taking out here. Luke Harris will bring it up here for the Knights. Driving. Being guarded by Winesett. Here's Coling. Back out to Banavets near the top of the key. Driving. Spin move with a weird hook shot. They're going to say he traveled before the shot. And yes, he did. So it'll be a turnover there for the Knights. 17-19 to play here in half. Number one, Knights lead 5-0. Saints trying to get something going. I mentioned they enter today 2-15 on the season. Just 1-10 in conference play. Nelson giving this one to Moore. He's going to drive. Kick back out to Winesett. Here's Nelson. Thought about the three-pointer. 
Now trying to go low. Give and go from Thomas to Nelson. Nice start to the game for St. Scholastica. It's Coy Nelson getting his first points there on the give and go from Kevin Thomas. Harris here on the right wing. A little pick and roll action. Skip pass. Thought about it for a second. There is Poling. Three-pointer from Banovitz. Not going to go. Rebound goes to Jeff Moore. Saints here can even the score up here on this possession if they choose so. Winesett driving and he traveled. So we have a turnover for St. Scholastica. The Knights here will take over mention here. So for Carlton, they're 10 and 7 on the season. 7 and 5 in the ma- in the last, in the Maya, excuse me. In their last four games, winner of three of those as they fell to St. John's on Wednesday. Luke Harris has it near the left wing, wants to screen, wants to go all the way and does. Luke Harris now has his afternoon started so far. He's averaging 21.4 games, 21.4 points per game, which leads the Mayak this season. Here's Ojulu. Winesett getting on the handoff. Winesett wants to go all the way. Gets the tough finish to go. Well, Winesett's on the board for St. Scholastica. It's a lead now for, for Carlton now down to just three points. Harris in the right wing here being guarded by Moore. Going to his left. He's a kick out three to Gibbons. His three-pointer. Good. Alex Gibbons now has his first three points tonight. Balance scoring so far coming for the Knights is there are now four different players in the scorebook. In the early moments here, Knights lead 10-4. Moore giving out to Ajulu. One step in from the three-point line. Here's Thomas dribbling to his right. Now to Nelson. Pick and roll coming from Nelson. Trying to go all the way. Makes a flashy pass. But they're going to say it's going to go out of bounds. And we'll go in the direction of the night. So Andre Crockett and Luke Raymond are checking in for St. Scholastica. And Chuck Sweat will check in for Carlton. Sweat, a 6'4 senior from Glencoe, Illinois. Raymond, a senior on this team, a senior 6'5 from Concordia Academy in Roberts, Wisconsin. Harris are trying to make a move on Jeff Moore. Might have gotten away with the travel. Trying to give it off here to Banovitz. Here's a handoff three-pointer coming from Gibbons. Not going to go. Thomas will come away with the rebound. Now Andre Crockett will bring this one up. Crockett here. 6-1 from Rochester Mayo High School. Now here's Raymond. Looking to go to more. Here's Crockett. He has an open three-pointer if he wants it. And the three is going to be a little bit short. Tipped out there by Jeff Moore. And Kevin Thomas unable to save that one. So we'll go into stands. It's going to be Knights basketball. 10 to 4 here, 15 minutes to play. We're five minutes underway here in half number one. Welcome to you on the Mayak Sports Network and KDHL. Harris looking to go all the way, wants a tough shot. Can't get that one to go. Rebound will go to Crockett. Crockett trying to kickstart this Saints offense here with just under 15 minutes to play in the half. Crockett going up strong, can't get it. Raymond gets the tip in there. They're going to say that Raymond's tipping will not count. There's going to be a foul going. As Crockett's going to go with the free throw line. Fowler, I believe, is going to go on Matt Vanovitz. It's going to be his first of the game so far. Knights now, and even with the Saints, two and two. As Crockett Jr. will go with the line. And able to get that person to go. Free throw shooting has been a problem for the Saints Scholastica team. Entering today as Crockett's only a 64% three point shooter. And something that happens to St. Scholastica quite often where the free throw line has let them down so far. So Miles Frisch will now check in for the Carlton Knights as Spencer Getz will take a seat. It's Crockett Jr. Can't get that one to go. Rebound will go to Frisch. Knights lead 10-5 here. 14-30 to play in half number one. Benefits being guarded closely here by Raymond. Harris with it. Wants to go baseline. Being guarded by Moore. Frisch pump fake three-pointer. Now here's the Banovitz being guarded closely by Raymond. Eight seconds left in the shot clock. Banovitz going to his right. Tumble team by Crockett. Poked away. Stolen away by Luke Raymond. Good job from Andre Crockett on that play. The double team to force that turnover. Here's Crockett with it. Now trying to give to Moore. Almost went out of bounds. Swing it around the motion offense. Thomas has it. Moore on the right wing. Wants a screen from both Thomas and Raymond. He'll skip it here to Winesett near the left wing. Winesett puts it on the deck here. Just 10 seconds left in the shot clock. Thomas driving to his left. Here's Moore. Three-pointer. That one will not go. Rebound will go to the Knights. Banovitz has another rebound. Getz has it now. 
for the Knights offense here. Trying to get started here. 10-5. 13-35 to play. Open three-pointer coming from Sweat. Not going to go. Jeff Moore will come away with the rebound. Scoring drought here over the last few possessions. Now Crockett brings it up for the Saints. Here's Thomas. He wants the three-pointer. Yes! Kevin Thomas give it to him for three points. And now the lead for the Knights is down to one possession as the lead sits at 10-8. Luke Harris bringing this one up for Carlton, trying to find Banovitz down low. Skip pass. Sweat has now more. Thought about the double team in the corner. They acted well at that defense. 13 seconds left in the shot clock. Here's Frisch driving. Kick out the Sweat. Harris on the right wing. Jab steps left. Go to his right. Trying to get by Wine said It's going to be a blocking foul. So, excuse me, Harris will go to the line for two shots. Trying to extend the lead here as it sits 10 8 with 12.54 to play. Ball is going to go there on Luke Raymond. It will be his first of the game, team's third. And we do have some subs coming in here for St. Scholastica after the first free throw. So Harris able to knock his first one down. Another sub coming in here for Carlton as well for St. Scholastica. It's going to be Mo Washington and Tanner Thompson checking in. And Sam Colling will check in for Matt Banovitz. So Harris able to go 2-2 two two from the free throw line now. Checking in is Gabriel Cummings. He'll check in there for Harris, making his first action tonight. Crockett Jr. brings it up for St. Scholastica. Here's Thomas now giving off to Thompson. Thompson, a flashy freshman on this team, has made a ton of contributions so far this season. Here's Thomas on the pick and roll. Can't get anything going there. Trying to get this one to Raymond. Raymond goes up strong, gets a tough finish. So Luke Raymond's on the board for his first points tonight. We're going to have a discussion from the referees, see if this might be a technical foul handed. It's going to be a warning. I think it might be a warning there, awarded. I don't know what to which team that is. But we'll play on here. 12 31 to play. Knights lead 12 10 on the Mayak Sports Network and KDHL. Cummings with it. Give it off here to Spencer Getz. Being guarded here by Crockett. Just one step in from the three-point line. Getz spinning. Get this one off to Cummings. Saints trying to get some defense sparking here with a nice turnover. And there it is right there. Poked away. Saints Glasgow has a Mo Washington bringing it up for the Saints. Thought about the three-pointer. He'll stop and think twice. Trying to get low down to Luke Raymond. Swing it around the top of the key. Crockett has it on the right wing. Here's Thomas. He's posting up. Being guard here by Coling. Trying to give this one to Thompson. He goes up strong. Good finish from Tanner. Thompson ties this one at 12-12. A nice post finish there. Thompson, a freshman on this team, like I mentioned, only six feet tall, a graduate of Stillwater High School, but still makes a ton of great finishes for this team. Plays well above his height. This one's poked away by Washington. Recover. Three on two. Saints have numbered to Thomas for the left hand. Saints have their first lead of the day. And a timeout coming from Ryan Kershaw and the Knights as Saints Galaska holds a 14-12 lead with 11-27 to play here in half number one. We'll be right back on the Mayak Sports Network and KDHL. Carleton College is committed to providing a true liberal arts education, a curriculum that challenges students to learn broadly and think deeply. Instead of training for one narrow career path, Carleton students develop the knowledge and skills to succeed in any walk of life. Carleton students learn critical thinking, problem solving, use creativity and effective communication tools to transform a collection of facts and figures into a way of understanding the world. Since the turn of the century, Federated Mutual Insurance Company and many of our employees have called Owatonna home. We work hand in hand with our neighbors through giving, volunteering and focusing on community initiatives. We invest in this community because we love to see opportunities and advancements such as the new high school and the downtown developments. We enjoy seeing the citizens of our great community continue to grow and thrive. And above all, we are proud to be part of Oatana's rich history and all that Oatana has to offer. Michelle, St. Scholastica takes its first lead there after the layup from Kevin Thomas. 
on the play that was designed there from Mo Washington, designing a nice three on two fast break, poked away by Washington on that play as well. And the Saints hold a 14 12, leave with 11 27 to play here in the opening half. Luke Harris will bring this one up. He's going to be guarded by Washington. Washington uses all of that frame 6 2, but he's got lots of long arms. And I've seen multiple times this year he's able to poke away a ton of balls. Here's Frisch. Trying to get this one out. Harris on the right wing being guarded here by Thompson. Thompson, intense defender as well. He's going to call with his first foul. He's going to stay reaching in, but Thompson's one that will get in your face and definitely not afraid to throw you out of your rhythm. So Alex Gibbons will check back in for Carlton as Spencer Getz will take a seat. So the foul there gets awarded to Thompson. He'll be his first, team's fourth of the half, 11.09 to play. Gibbons with it. Can give this one off here to Sweat. Colling with it now. Here's Harris wanting the screen from Colling on the right. Goes to his left. Trying to make a move on Washington. Washington's all there for it. Just seven seconds left on the shot clock. Harris driving. Spin move, wants to go to his left. There will be a foul called, so Harris will go to the line for two shots. And we'll see who this foul is going to be called on. See quite yet. It's going to be called on number 23. That's Andre Crockett Jr. So Harris go to the line for two. He's already got four points tonight. Is he trying to add to that total as we speak? Harris here, but get that one entering today. Harris is a 77% free throw shooter. As Aaron Kiko is going to make his first action tonight for St. Scholastica, he'll check in for Kevin Thomas. And checking in, Banovitz will check back in there for Chuck Sweat. Knights looking to tie this one up at 14 apiece with 10.50 to play. And he will. Got a tie game here from Duluth. The Rife Gymnasium is Alumni Day. Here at St. Scholastica, so a ton of alumni here, both men's and women's programs. Here today to support their teams. Here's Raymond with it, top of the key. Hand it off here to Thompson, the left wing, trying to give it to, to Crockett. Crockett posting up, skip pass to Washington. Corner three-pointer is going to be way long, misses everything. Rebound will go to Harris. Harris now dribbling it up for the Knights. Banovitz puts it on the deck, wants to go all the way and will. So Matt Banovitz now has five points in this game. Banovitz, six seven senior graduate of the Academy of Holy Angels. As he's now up to five points. Here's Crockett again, going to go in the left post. Raymond trying to have an off screen. Trying to go up strong, poked away there by Harris. So nice defense from Luke Harris. On the one as Crockett was trying to post him up. Now he's trying to go all the way. Can't get the left hand to go. Rebound's going to go to Aaron Kiko. Crockett brings this one up for St. Scholastica. 9.45 to play. Knights lead 16-14. Crockett Jr. going to give this one to Washington. Pick and roll coming. And it'll be a kickball violation as Washington was trying to find Raymond down low. So 9.36 to play. Knights lead 16-14. We got another sub coming in here as Matthew Ojulu is going to check in for Luke Raymond here. I'm going to say the kickball is going to go there against Sam Coling. Saints have an out-of-bounds play coming. Here's Kiko with it. Trying to find some action coming out of it. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. 9.30 to play. Doubling the screen here. Crockett handles the pressure well. Splits the defense. Nice pass to Kiko. He goes up with the right hook. Can't get it to go as Banovitz will get the rebound. Banovitz coming down with yet another rebound. He is this afternoon. Here's Harris. And it's going to be an illegal screen called there on Sam Coling. So Coling there is going to pick up his second foul there as Kershaw might have to maybe go to his bench here looking for something else. Don't want to get him in foul trouble before the half is just 9.14 to play. Now if you're wondering if your coach David Stanger in his 24th season here for St. Scholastica, wonder if you might go right at him and see if he wants to force to try and get another foul situation. Here's Washington with it. He wants a screen from Kiko on the left. Trying to go here's to Ojulu on the left block. Pass back out to Washington. Drives baseline. Trying to find a pass to Ojulu. Not there. We picked away, but this pass is stolen by Thompson. Saints don't quite have the numbers. Washington gives this one back to Crockett. They'll just reset the offense. Probably a smart decision there was three on two in favor of the Knights. And it's going to be a kickball violation again. 
St. Scholastic will have a baseline out of bounds play coming here with 20 seconds left. 8.37 to play. Knights still have a two-point lead. Here's Washington with it. Making some fancy moves in between the legs. Now give the Crockett near the top of the key. Going to his left. Knights defense has definitely sharpened up here in the last few minutes. Saints have not been able to get what they want. There's going to be a foul call there on Luke Harris. So it's going to be Harris's first of the game. It'll be the team's fourth. But this Knights defense definitely has stepped up in the last few minutes. Saints have not been able to do what they've wanted to do on offense. Often left time scrambling to find a shot. Here's Washington with it. Going down low to a pass to Ojulu. Might have been some contact. Not going to get the call. Banovitz will come away with the rebound for the Knights. A lot of contact there on Ojulu, but no call. We'll play on here in Duluth. Frisch with it. Kick this one out to Harris. Harris makes a jab step on Kiko. Wants to go all the way. Contact. It's going to be a body foul on Tanner Thompson. As the Saints bench is in disbelief. He might have been in the restricted area is all I can say. I believe he was set and he was there, but it's going to be a second foul there on Tanner Thompson. Team six with eight minutes to play. Harris will go to the free throw line once again, trying to extend this lead. So Harris now has six points already in today's game, looking to add to that total. And he gets the first one to go. We do have some substitutions coming in as Chuck Sweat will check back in for Sam Coling. And for St. Scholastica, Jeff Moore and Coy Nelson will check in for Tanner Thompson and Andre Crockett. Saints definitely wanted that offensive foul called charge. You could hear it in the gym. It was called a blocking foul. The whole bench and the alumni sitting behind them all had their gasps. As Spencer gets here, we'll check back in for Luke Harris here. So Knights now hold a four-point lead, 18, 14, eight minutes to play. Nelson will give this one off to Aaron Kekol. One near the elbows, Ojulu. Ojulu trying to make a move. Give it off to Nelson. Saints swinging it around the perimeter. Here's Washington with it. Trying to go down low to Kiko. Kiko goes up strongly and he'll get a foul called as Matt Banovitz is going to pick up his second foul and Aaron Kiko will go to the line for two shots. Kiko, just a 37.5 free throw percent shooter this year. So we'll see here. He's 9 of 24 on this season. He's unable to get that first one to fall, so Knights still will have at least a three-point lead here with 7.41 in play as they lead 18-14. Stiegel is able to go 1 of 2 to split that one, so the Knights lead now down to three points. Gibbons with it, trying to find Banovitz down low and does. Sneaks by Ojulu, finds a cutting Banovitz. The Saints now trying to get something going here. And David Skander wants a timeout called. And he will get it with 7.24 to play. Knights lead 20-15. to 15. We'll be right back on the Mayak Sports Network and KDHL. Carleton College's faculty members are highly respected scholars, researchers, and practitioners in their field. But above all, their first priority is teaching. Every course at Carleton is taught by a professor, not a teaching assistant. And classes small enough to offer individual attention for students. A student-to-faculty ratio of 9 to 1 ensures Carleton students have plenty of opportunity for interaction with their professors. We are all familiar with these kinds of banks. The ever-popular snow bank that either your neighbor has backed into or their neighbor kids sliding on with their friends. Then there's the blood bank, which, by the way, always a good idea to give blood. But are you familiar with First United Bank with locations in Faribault and Owatonna? At First United Bank, banking is all about relationships and working towards a common goal of financial security. Get to know the most popular bank in the area, First United Bank, member FDIC. During that time out there, he just didn't like what the effort he saw on the floor. As an easy Banovitz was able to get his layup to go as they now lead 20 to 15 with 7.24 to play. Washington has this one now for St. Scholastica. Wants a screen from Kiko. Another screen coming from Ojulu. One step in from the three point line. Not going to go. Rebound though goes to Kiko and the Saints. Nelson, three pointer. Yes! To the bank for Coy. Nelson brings this one now back to a one possession game. Nelson now makes the score 20 to 18 and still in favor of the Knights. 
Banovitz has this one now being guarded by Ojulu. Tries to make the quick step by him, uses the left hand off the glass. Yes. So Matt Banovitz now up to nine points. Made a nice move there, went to his left. Don't see that much often the backboard being used from one step in from the free throw line. But Matt Banovitz begs to differ. Washington driving, coming from a screen from Ojulu. Nice pass to Ojulu from Washington. Gets the finish to go. Although Julu's got his first points of the night. Washington is definitely a playmaker on this team, and you see why right there. The beautiful pass there to Ojulu set him up perfectly. Banovitz has this one now. Wants a screen coming from Getz. Not going to use it. Gibbons with it. Back to Banovitz. He wants the three-pointer. Yes! From the parking lot, Matt Banovitz. Up to 12 points now in double figures. As he's got 12 points here in this one. Ojulu has it on the elbow. Here's give it up to Jeff Moore. Respond with a three-pointer. Yes! Give it to him for Jeff Moore. And Jeff Moore's got his first three-pointer here with 5.50 to play. Both teams going back and forth from the three-point line now. Gibbons has it. He'll give this one off to Getz. Just one step in from the three-point line. Gibbons trying to make a move on Nelson. Kick out three-pointer for Sweat. Not going to go. Rebound will go to Jeff Moore. Here's Washington bringing up for St. Scholastica. Washington making some moves here, trying to get by. Here's going to Ojulu down low, trying to go over Banovitz and does with the glass. This game's tied back up at 25 apiece. 5.20 to play Ojulu. That was scored on two of the last three possessions for St. Scholastica. Gibbons will hand this one off the sweat. Going to Banovitz. Banovitz now with 12 points in this one. Another open three-pointer for Banovitz, of course. Banovitz now with 15 in the half. Five minutes to play this night. He's got 15 of their 28 points. Nelson trying to make a move here. Finds a cutting back door. Jeff Moore, but he's going to be blocked at the rim. And actually a foul will be called. I believe it's going to be on Alex Gibbons of the Knights. And it will be. So Jeff Moore will go to the line for two shots. It's going to be the sixth foul for the Knights overall. As Moore will go to the free throw line, a 57.1% free throw shooter this season. So Moore is able to get that first one to fall. Checking back in is going to be Luke Harris and Sam Coling there as Spencer, or excuse me, Miles Frisch and Chuck Sweat will take a seat. And checking in for Saints Galaska, Noel Winesett re-enters today's game. As Mel Washington will take a seat on the bench here with 4.48 to play. Knights lead. 28-26. Moore can't get that second one to go. Banovitz comes away with the rebound. He'll give it off to Harris to bring it up for the Knights. He's trying to set up the Knights offense here. Banovitz with it. Being guarded here by Ojulu. Coling has now with size on Kiko. Gets with it. Back on to Coling. Kick out three-pointer coming from Gibbons. Of course! Alex Gibbons drills that one from three-point range as this Knights leads back up to five points, leading 31-26. Just about four minutes to play here in the opening half. Ojulu has it near the elbow. Going to Moore, wants a screen. Moore for a three-pointer yet again. This one's not going to go, and it will go out of bounds to the Knights. We'll take over possession as Kevin Thomas checks back in for St. Scholastica. He'll check it for Aaron Kiko. Nice run there for Kiko. The Knights here take over with 4.05 to play. They lead 31-26. Both teams will enter the bonus. As the next foul is handed out, both teams have six fouls in the half. Harris will give this one to Banovitz. We saw the range from Banovitz this half. As he has a three-pointer here on a handoff, this one's not going to go. We'll go over the backboard, so we'll be out of bounds. That's the look. If you're Ryan Kershaw, you can live with their Banovitz with 15 in the half. Definitely can live with a shot like that. Here's Coy Nelson bringing up for St. Scholastica. 3.45 to play. Knights lead 31-26. Here's Winesett on the left wing. Give it off to Moore here. Moore looking for a three-point attempt there from Winesett. And a floater here coming from Coy Nelson. Yes! Coy Nelson now up to seven points in the half. Three and a half to play. Knights lead 31-28. Crowd chanting, defense, defense. Saints only trail by a basket here. Gibbons being guarded by Winesett. Giving it off here to Getz. 
Open three-pointer coming from Coling. That one's not going to go. Moore will come away with the rebound. Nelson trying to push this one up fast for St. Scholastica. Give it down low to Thomas. Thomas trying to keep this one saved in as it went off his leg. But will not fail to do so. It will be a turnover for St. Scholastica. Harris with it now. Driving here being guarded by Winesett. Harris top of the key trying to go down low to Coling and does. Being guarded there by Nelson. The size difference between Coling and Nelson is quite significant. They list Nelson at 5'10", Coling at 6'5". So he's able to use that different size differential to get the easy layup. Here's Nelson driving baseline. Wants to go up strong, but he's going to be blocked at the rim by Banovitz. And we'll go the other way. Here's Harris. Banovitz, three-pointer, thought about it. Gets the pump fake. Saints scrambling out of here. Here's Gibbons with it. Corner, three-pointer for Harris. Yes! Luke Harris now with another three-pointer here. He's now in double figures. He's up to 11 points. And this Knights lead is just a basket away from being double figures away. Leading 36-28. Here's Nelson driving, giving to Thomas in the short corner. Skip pass out to Weinstein in the wing. Here's Moore. I'll give it off to Nelson. Nelson wants the pick and roll coming. Trying to find a backdoor cutting. Weinstein and does. Goes up strong. Nice, beautiful pass from Coy Nelson to give that one to Noah Weinstein. Setting him up perfectly on that one. Weinstein's now up to four points. As we are just about 90 ticks away from this one being at the end of the first half. Coling with it. Knights moving it around the perimeter. Gibbons with it. Finds a nice pass to Coling. Pump fake. Gets that one to go. Got Kevin, Kevin Thomas in the air. Able to get that one for an easy layup. Minute 20 to play. Knights still hold an eight-point lead. Winesett will hand this one off to Ojulu. Ojulu bounces it off his foot. It's going to be a turnover. And let's see. Let's say it's going to be... It's going to be a kickball violation against St. Scholastica. Ball was on the ground, went off Moore's foot. So Andre Crockett Jr. and Luke Raymond will check back in for St. Scholastica. Coming for Matthew Ojulu and Coy Nelson right before the end of the half. A minute 11 to play. David Sander trying to get his team fired up here to end the half strong. Harris has it. In a screen here from Banovitz. Harris trying to go all the way. Gets a nice finish. As Luke Harris now has 13 points in this one. With just a minute to play, Knights have expanded their lead to a 10-point lead. Here's Moore on the right wing. Give it off to Raymond, top of the key. Raymond not a three-point shooter, so Bambit's not jumping for that three-pointer. Crockett will swing this one out to Thomas. Thomas trying to back him down low. Here's Winesett, three-pointer, thought about it. Driving instead, tries to get the tough finish. And he won't get the basket to go, but he'll go to the line for two shots. So for Noah Winesett, he'll go to the line trying to bring this one back down under 10 points. The foul is going to be on Spencer Getz. It's going to be his first of the half. And the Saints officially enter the bonus here. 35 seconds to play. It's Winesett will go to the line for two shots. Winesett's able to get that first one. One of the more reliable free throw shooters on this team. Sits right about 65% on the season. So we'll try to go two for two here with 35.4 ticks left in the first half. And he's able to go two or two from the line, so Mo Washington will check in for Winesett. Probably just don't want Winesett to pick up another foul. Although he doesn't have any, just don't want to get your good players, your star players, your starters in foul trouble. So Harris will bring this one up for Carlton. The difference between the shot and game clock is five seconds. So the Knights could very easily hold for one last shot here. And St. Scholastica will go the length of the court in just five seconds. And if it's with it, he'll give it to Harris. Here's Getz trying to back down Crockett. Wants the left-hand jumper. Gets it to go. Eight seconds left to play in the half. Crockett Jr. trying to push this one up quickly. He'll give it to Moore. Left wing. Wants the three-pointer. Not going to go. Still has a shot left. Crockett can't get that one up. And so we will reach the halftime mark with the Knights from Carlton holding a 10-point lead over St. Scholastica as they lead 42-32. We'll be right back here after a brief intermission for our listeners on the MyX Sports Network and KDHL. Stick around here for second half basketball coming from Duluth with the Knights lead 42-32. Carleton ranks number one among baccalaureate colleges in the number of alumni who have gone on to earn academic doctorates since 2007. Approximately 57% of all alums go on to graduate school within five years of graduation and 21% of alumni go directly to graduate 
graduate school in the fall after their graduation. It's another reason why Carlton develops lifelong learners. Faribault Foods has been a pillar of the Faribault community since 1895 and the leading manufacturer of high-quality canned foods that are dedicated to providing wholesome and delicious recipe-ready food. Keep your pantry stocked with canned beans and vegetables for easy meals at your fingertips. Use Mrs. Grimes beans in your favorite soups, chilies, or tacos, and butter kernel vegetables as a side dish that your family will love. For more meal inspiration, visit MrsGrimesBeans.com or ButterKernel.com. The Carleton College academic environment is undeniably rigorous and challenging, but it's also uniquely supportive. Instead of competing, students embrace a spirit of collaboration. Unlike most colleges, Carleton has three 10-week terms per academic year, fall, winter, and spring, which allows students to focus more completely on their classes. Another way that Carleton develops leaders. Federated Mutual Insurance Company is passionate about the care and enrichment of the next generation. At the heart of our charitable focus is youth mentoring and our support of Big Brothers Big Sisters. We are proud of our employees who are currently volunteering to be a big brother, big sister, big couple, or big family, and yet there are hundreds of children still waiting for a big. Ignite your year. Empower potential today. Consider this your personal invitation to learn more about Big Brothers Big Sisters. Together, we can make a difference. Carleton College is committed to providing a true liberal arts education, a curriculum that challenges students to learn broadly and think deeply. Instead of training for one narrow career path, Carleton students develop the knowledge and skills to succeed in any walk of life. Carleton students learn critical thinking, problem solving, use creativity and effective communication tools to transform a collection of facts and figures into a way of understanding the world. Every part counts at Amesbury Truth. And the most important one is the part you'll play when you join their team. As the leading provider of window and door products in North America, Amesbury Truth has a part for you. Right now, they're hiring. And those positions come with competitive wages, benefits, and plans. Plenty of opportunities, too, so you never stop growing. Isn't it time you open the door to a career at Amesbury Truth? Get details and apply online at amesburytruth.com slash careers. H&R Block offices in Oatana, Faribault, and Lakeville remind you now is the time to get your paperwork in order for tax season. Book your appointment at one of the offices where in-person or drop-off filing is available. No computer program can ask every single possible tax question. The tax professionals in Lakeville, Faribault, and Oatana Tana, average 10 years experience, and you can request the same preparer every year. File your way at h and Block offices in Faribault, Oatana, and Lakeville. All tax situations are different. Not everyone gets a refund. Carleton College's faculty members are highly respected scholars, researchers, and practitioners in their field. But above all, their first priority is teaching. Every course at Carleton is taught by a professor, not a teaching assistant, and classes small enough offer individual attention for students. A student-to-faculty ratio of 9 to 1 ensures Carleton students have plenty of opportunity for interaction with their professors. Well, good afternoon. I'm Pete Hansen, enjoying a Saturday um, matinee game of Carleton Knights men's basketball with you as they're in St. Scholastica, or at St. Scholastica in Duluth uh, this afternoon. It is halftime, and the uh, score at the half is 42-32 with the Carlton Knights ahead of the St. Scholastica Saints. We've got about 10 minutes left and a half. And uh, Gordy Cosfeld not able to get cover the game today. He had an unexpected medical procedure earlier in the week, and he's been out all week. If you've been listening to KDHL, you've noticed the absence. He'll be back uh, this next week. Talked to him last night, and he's doing fine. By the way, Jerry was on a cruise this week as well. So no Jerry, no Gordy this week. Kind of quiet around here. And they will both be back. Jerry back Monday. Gordy either Monday or shortly after as he continues his recovery. So having said all of that, uh, we'll take a look at the forecast quick here during halftime. They don't do a halftime show uh, on the air uh, as part of the MEAC uh, broadcast that St. Scholastica is 
is providing us here this afternoon. So we'll uh, do some other things here during the halftime uh, forecast. We'll take a look at that first patchy, dense fog this afternoon with a high near 35. Uh, there's also some freezing fog. Almost looks like snow from time to time. It's 34 right now. Then tonight, patchy, dense fog before nine. Then widespread freezing fog. You got to be driving, um, you know, later tonight, especially midnight and beyond. Uh, be careful. Could be slick. Otherwise, cloudy skies. And an overnight low of 23. Tomorrow, your Sunday, patchy, dense fog up until about noon. Uh, maybe some freezing fog in there, too. But wait for it. Sunshine tomorrow afternoon. Don't be alarmed of the big fiery ball in the sky. That is called the sun. And we haven't seen it for a while. You might have forgotten uh, how that works. But 37 for a high this afternoon. The meltdown continues. And then just warmer all next week, 42 on Monday. Uh, we're looking at 40 on Tuesday, 43 on Wednesday, 46 on Thursday. You know, somebody's going to get a 50 out of that. And then uh, 44 on Friday. Right now it is 34 with fog in Faribault. About nine minutes left in the uh, intermission at halftime with the Carlton Knights leading the St. Scholastica uh, Saints. Easy for me to say. 42 to 32, Carlton in the lead at the half. Now, if there wasn't basketball this afternoon, this would be the old time show, old time and polka music on KDHL. So we're going to enjoy that for the next eight minutes and 40 seconds until the second half starts. We'll be back with the second half of Carlton at St. Scholastica in about eight minutes on the Mighty 920 KDHL and 97.9 FM. <laughs> KDHL and 97.9 FM. It is halftime at men's basketball. Carlton Knights at St. Scholastica. Knights leading 42 to 32 up in Duluth at the half. The uh, broadcast that we're carrying from St. Scholastica, so Scholastica. And thank you to them for providing it to us because Gordy Cosfeld is still recovering from his uh, medical procedure he had uh, earlier in this week. Speedy recovery to you, Gordy, if you're listening. And I uh, talked to him last night. He's doing well and expecting to be back in action uh, here this week. Uh, we got Hockey Day Minnesota today, way up in northwestern Minnesota at War Road. In War Road, Minnesota, that is where Hockey Day is taking place as we speak today, outside on the ice and the rink and the fresh air in War Road. Part of that is the Minnesota Wild game tonight. That is not uh, at Hockey Day Minnesota, although wouldn't that be cool if the Wild would go and play in these towns all across the state for one home game? But I, obviously that would be diff very difficult. They are in action tonight at home, though, at the uh, XL Energy Center. They'll be hosting the Anaheim Ducks, and that puck drops at 8 o'clock tonight. You want to watch? You can do that on Valley Sports North. Still about five minutes left in the half. 
time intermission in Duluth at St. Scholastica. And we'll, uh, we're will we playing our old-time music because that's what we'd be doing if we weren't uh, watching and listening to basketball this afternoon. The second half action of the Knights of Carleton at St. Scholastica coming up in five minutes on the Mighty 920 KDHL. Wrapping up the shoot around here to prepare to get into the second half basketball. Carlton at Saint Scholastica. <laughs> Saint Scholastica. We will uh, be checking back in. We're picking up their broadcast from Saint Scholastica this afternoon, about uh, two minutes away from tip off of the second half. One more 
time. We'll twirl around the floor so free. Just one more time. All right, the players are taking their place back on the court for the second half of the Carlton Knights men's basketball game at St. Scholastica. And Gordy Cosfeld recovering from his medical procedure last week, unable to make the trip to Duluth. So St. Scholastica, gracious enough to provide us with their feed. And that is what we'll be listening to here as the uh, Knights go into the second half with a 42-32 lead over St. Scholastica. St. Scholastica, Quinn Nelson led the Saints with seven points. Noah Winesett with six and Kevin Thomas with five. Thomas, or excuse me, Jeff Moore led the team in rebounds. The turnover will come here, trying to get the pass down Lodo Ojulu. Jeff Moore led with four rebounds in that first half, and Mo Washington poked away two steals for the Saints in that first half, shooting 48% from the field as a team and 27% from three-point range, but only just 50% from the free-throw line. Knights here are going to start out. Both teams have their starters on the floor to open up the half. As a three-pointer attempt, maybe be coming here driving low. Can't get that one to go. It's going to be Gibbons. Rebound will go to Winesett. Carlton in that first half was led by Matt Banovitz with 15 points. Luke Harris with 13 points. Harris also had two steals. Here's a wine set three-pointer. Not going to go. Julu will come away with the offensive rebound. Skip pass trying to go to Jeff Moore. He'll come down with it. Wine set driving. Looking to go all the way. And they're going to say it's going to stay with St. Scholastica. Poked away by, I believe, Gibbons. So Knights have a 10-point lead. They open that gap in the late minutes. As the lead was just tied. Brought it back up to five points. And the Saints just couldn't respond there. So the Knights have been on a good run to end the half. Here's Thomas. He has an open three-pointer attempt. First of the half, not going to go. Rebound will go to Harris. Harris will bring this one up, bring it up the right side of the floor. Wants a screen here from Getz. Harris going to his left spin move. Gets the left hand up there and gets the tough finish. Luke Harris now up to 15 points. He'll tie Banovitz now. Banovitz with 15 as well. Here's Ojulu at the elbow. Give it to Winesett. Winesett looking for that mid-range jumper that he loves so much. Here's Moore trying to go baseline. And a skip pass trying to go to Nelson. Not to say it was not tipped. And it will be a turnover there trying to go to the other direction. So St. Scholastica in that first half did have six turnovers, as did Carlton. Season averages are definitely more for both teams. As entering today, St. Scholastica usually averages about 14 turnovers per game with Carlton just averaging just about 10. Banovitz going to go all the way with his left hand. Gets that one to go. This leads now up to 14. The 46-32 lead. Just about 18 minutes to play here in the game. And already Coy Nelson dribbles over. David Stanger wants a timeout. So just under two minutes into this one. David Stanger will call a timeout. We'll take a quick break here from the Mayak Sports Network and from KDHL. We'll be right back. This company is hiring in Owatonna and Mankato. Federated Insurance offers full training, competitive pay and benefits, plenty of room for growth, and an unmatched company culture. We are seeking talented professionals who are comfortable working with multiple computer systems and who have a strong attention to detail. No insurance experience is required. Join a company that values hard work and continues to thrive and grow. Learn more and apply now at federatedinsurance.com. Every part counts at Amesbury Truth. And the most important one is the part you'll play when you join their team. As the leading provider of window and door products in North America, Amesbury Truth has a part for you. Right now, they're hiring. And those positions come with competitive wages, benefits, and plenty of opportunities, too. So you never stop growing. Isn't it time you open the door to a career at Amesbury Truth? Get details and apply online at amesverytruth.com slash careers. All right, coming out of here at a timeout. I want to welcome you back here. I'm Cameron Green here. Handling the play-by-play duties this afternoon on the Mayank Sports Network and those listening on KDHL. Saints will come out of the timeout. Sideline out of bounds play. Knights trying to look to capture their 11th win of the season and 8th conference win of the season. Saints trying to advance off that 2-15 and record and end the 6-game losing streak they are on. Here's Nelson with it. Get a screen from Ojulu. Give it off here to Moore off top of the key. Now back to Nelson. Trying to go down low to Ojulu. That pass intended to go for Ojulu. Be tipped away and will stay here with St. Scholastica. 18-04 to play. Knights lead 46-32. Winesett will inbound for Scholastica. He'll give it off to Kevin Thomas. Looking for the elevator screen there to Winesett. Not there. Now give it to Moore in the post. Moore wants the fadeaway jumper. That one's not going to go. Rebound will go to Harris. 
Harris bringing this one up quickly for the Knights. Wants a screen there from Banovitz. Thought about the three-pointer. Instead, he'll go low to Banovitz. Trying to back down Ojulu, and there will be a foul called on Ojulu, so it'll be a baseline out-of-bounds play coming. It's going to be Ojulu's second foul of the game. Team's first the half. Two leading scores in this team, Banovitz and Harris both with 15. As Harris trying to drive here, out Ojulu. Three-pointer coming from Banovitz. Not going to go. Rebound is going to say they're going to say in the direction of, of the Knights. As both Thomas there and Sam Coling were fighting for possession. And it's going to stay with Carlton here. Harris will give this one off to Banovitz. Tipped away for a second there by Moore. Give and go. Harris trying to go all the way. Not going to go. Rebound will go to Jeff Moore. Moore will bring this one up for St. Scholastica. Being guarded here by Spencer Getz. Ojulu has it one step in from the three-point line. Give it back out to Nelson. Here's Moore. Thought about the three-pointer for a second. And still to give down low to Winesett, who's in the post. Winesett goes up. He's blocked for a moment. They're going to say a foul, though, instead on Alex Gibbons. Be Gibbons' second foul of the game. Winesett will go to the line. He's got six points so far. Trying to extend this one. Maybe become the leading scorer for St. Scholastica in this game. So Winesett went 2-2 two two from the free throw line in the first half. Able to get that first one there. So now put him 3-3 three of three for the day. As he's now tied Coy Nelson now with 7 points in the game. And Winesett goes 2-2 two two from the line. So the Saints now just trail by 12. Trailing 46-34 here with 17 minutes to play here in half number 2. Harris with it. Being guard here by Moore. Trying to find a backdoor cutting Banovitz. Banovitz comes away with it. Can't get the finish. Comes down with his own rebound. Kick out back to Harris. Harris trying to make a move on Moore. Giving it off here to Gibbons. Gibbons trying to drive on Nelson. Goes up strongly. Count the basket and the foul. Coy Nelson pick up the foul there as Gibbons will go to the free throw line. He's up to eight points now here in the second half. And Nelson now will pick up his first foul as Luke Raymond and Andre Crockett Jr. will check in for Coy Nelson and Matho Julu. And Gibbons will go to the free throw line for one more. Gibbons an 88% free throw shooter entering today, almost automatic. But he can't get that one to go. The announcer's jink is real, my friends, as Kevin Thomas will come away with the rebound. Here's Crockett Jr. bringing this one up. Four Saints. Giving off here to Thomas. Excuse me, to Winesett. Screen here coming from Moore. Winesett. Wing three-pointer. Not going to go. It's long. Rebound will go to Banovitz. Banovitz will get this one to Harris on the right side. Crockett Jr. will pick him up. 16 and a half to play. Harris trying to go all the way, and there will be a foul called, so Harris will go the line for two shots. I believe the foul is going to be on Kevin Thomas. It is... Next day, it's actually going to be on Andre Crockett Jr. Be Crockett's second foul of the game. Team's third. Here's the line for two more. Harris able to get that one. He's up to 16 points now. And the lead's almost at 16 as well as the Knights lead by 15 here, leading 49 34. So Harris can't get that second one to fall. Thomas will grab the rebound. Crockett Jr. will bring this one up for the Saints. Here's Moore with it. Trying to use that head screen there. Here's Thomas getting a screen from Raymond. A lot of players congested here in the middle of the pack here. Thomas trying to back down in the post, trying to back down Getz. And there's going to be a foul called. It's going to be a baseline out of bounds play coming for St. Scholastic. We'll see who this foul is going to be on. It's going to be on Spencer Getz. It's going to be his second foul. Team's second foul as Miles Frisch will check in for Alex Gibbons. Frisch, a 6'1 senior on this team from Eden Prairie, Minnesota, and a graduate of Eden Prairie High School. He's part of that 2020 Eden Prairie team that was undefeated. They were unable to finish the state championship, but what a great team that was. Here's Winesett. He went off to Jeff Moore, top of the key. Crockett wants a double screen from both Thomas and Moore. Seven seconds left in the shot clock. Crockett will give this one out to Moore. Trying to give down low to Raymond. They'll have to go quickly. Raymond, fire away jumper. Yes! 
for Luke Raymond off now his first points in the second half. Beautiful fadeaway jumper, very Dirk Nowitzki-esque. And he's up to four points. His lead now, 49-36. Gets wants the screen there from Banovitz. He'll give it off to Harris. Harris looking beautiful pass to set up Spencer Getz. Uh, beautiful layup there as well. Getz now up to six points. But a great assist there coming from Luke Harris. Here's more with it. Here's Crockett Jr. right at the three-point line. Thought about the three-pointer. Instead, he'll drive. Trying to go up strong. Can't get it to go. And the rebound will be off Luke Raymond's arm as he was trying to grab the offensive board. So it's going to go in the direction of Carlton. Fifteen minutes to play. Knights lead by 15. Harris will bring this one up. He's being guarded by Jeff Moore. Going to Banovitz right away. Banovitz trying to back down Raymond. Give it up to Colleen. Back to Banovitz. Scrambling out of it. Banovitz, they have this mismatch they want. He's being guarded by Crockett. Here's Frisch. Driving, trying to make a move on Winesett. Give it up to Colleen for three. Not going to go. Winesett coming away with the rebound. Winesett trying to push this one up fast. Here's Moore. Has a three-point shot. Decides not to take it there. Give it down to Raymond instead. Moore will give it off to Crockett. Crockett wants a screen from Raymond on the left. Uses it. Skip pass here to Kevin Thomas. Thomas puts it on the board. Being doubled here off the screen. Moore, th- corner three-pointer. Almost a travel. Gets the dribble down. Instead, he passes that one. Be stolen away by Spencer Getz. Saints unable to get a shot away. Multiple opportunities to take one. They just didn't want the one they wanted. And the other side, Getz will go all the way. Backing down, getting the right hook to go. So this lead now up to 17 points with 14 minutes to play. Crockett will dribble over and be a timeout again for St. Scholastica. So with 14 minutes to play... The Knights lead extended up to 17. They lead 53-36. Be right back here in the Mayak Sports Network and on KDHL. H&R Block offices in Oatana, Faribault, and Lakeville remind you now is the time to get your paperwork in order for tax season. Book your appointment at one of the offices where in-person or drop-off filing is available. No computer program can ask every single possible tax question. The tax professionals at Lakeville, Faribault, and Oatana average 10 years experience, and you can request the same preparer every year. File your way at h r Block offices in Faribault, Oatana, and Lakeville. All tax situations are different. Not everyone gets a refund. Carleton ranks number one among baccalaureate colleges in the number of alumni who have gone on to earn academic doctorates since 2007. Approximately 57% of all alums go on to graduate school within five years of graduation, and 21% of alumni go directly to graduate school in the fall after their graduation. It's another reason why Carlton develops lifelong learners. Coming out of the timeout here on the Mayank Sports Network and on KDHL, it's Saints basketball here. Saints Glasgow Trails, Carlton 53-36 here. The Saints coming out here with the sideline out of bounds play after the timeout. Tanner Thompson checking in for Saints Scholastica. Here's Winesett right now driving. Give it off to Thompson. Here's Crockett about two steps in from half court. Thomas on the left side trying to get this one down low. Not going to go with seven seconds left. Thomas wants a three-pointer. Yes! Kevin Thomas now gets his fair share of points. He's up to eight now in the lead. Down to 14. Harris will give this one off for you to get. Gets trying to get this one to Harris, poked away by Thompson at the last second. So it'll go out of bounds. They have a sub coming in here for Carlton. As Gabriel Cummings will check back in. Cummings, a 6 2 sophomore in this team from Long Beach, California. Frisch will inbound for the Knights. Give this one off to Sweat, who also checked in on that timeout. Banovitz has it now. Give it off to Getz. Getz trying to drive baseline on Winesett. Caught off there. Skip past to Cummings. Back down low. It'll be a foul called. Had to foul there as Chuck Sweat will go to the line for two shots. Saints were scrambling there out of the double team. And left Sweat wide open under the foul, under the basket. So Winesett will pick up the foul. Be his first. Good foul there. As Sweat would have had an easy layup. He'll go to two shots at the free throw line. Sweat's able to get that first one to go. He's got a minimal 
attempts to score only three of four on the season. 75% entering today. It's only some a small sample size from the free throw line. But give him two more as he goes two of two from the free throw line. This one, Knights now lead 55, 39, 13 minutes to play. Winds it on the right side here. Give it off to Raymond, top of the key. Trying to give this one to Thomas. Thomas had to fall out of bounds. Kept this one alive with the Saints of now. We're playing four on five. Thomas back up. Thompson with a nice move trying to go over Banovitz. Can't get it to go. And Banovitz will come away for the rebound for Carlton. Cummings with it. Being guarded here by Thomas. Wants a screen from Banovitz. Pass in the corner to Getz. Skip pass coming for Sweat. He takes a hard dribble to his left trying to make a move on Crockett. Frisch with it. Ten seconds left in the shot clock. Skip pass to Banovitz. His three-pointer. Yes! Absolutely. Matt Banovitz yet again from beyond the arc. Carlton's able to extend this lead to a 19-point game. Thompson trying to find Crockett Jr. on the other end. Thompson with it. Makes a move on Cummings. Here's a pass to Crockett Jr. in the corner. Trying to make a move. Has Thomas. Skip pass. Moving it around. Here's what Wine said. Wide open three-pointer. Of course! No line sits in double figures, up to 11 points. Give it to him, the three-pointer. As St. Scholastica still trails here by 16, 58, 42, 12 minutes to play. Cummings with it. He'll give it off here to Getz. Bandovitz on the left wing. Power dribble. Here's Frisch, his first three-pointer of the night. Not going to go. Raymond with the rebound. Raymond will give this one off to Crockett Jr. He'll bring it up for St. Scholastica. Saints need to go on a run here quickly if they have a chance to get back in this game. On the right side, Crockett looking. Here's Crockett and wants a screen from Raymond Crockett driving. Mid-range jumper, of course, for Andre Crockett Jr. It's his first field goal of the day. He had one point in the half. Number one on a free throw. So now he's now up to three points, getting his first field goal of the game. Cummings will give this one to Getz. Trying to back down Winesett. Trying to find a backdoor cutting. Sweat poked away by Thomas. He'll bring this one up for the Saints. And he's trying to force that one as Thompson was cutting backdoor. Thomas picked up his dribble in an awkward spot. There's a turnover for Saints. Glasgow Banovitz for three. That one not going to go. Winesett will get the rebound. Pushing it up quickly. Pass here from Winesett to Thomas. Not going to go. Can't get all the way, but there will be a foul called as Banovitz did not give him a clear spot to land. So Thomas goes down hard there. Couldn't get the layup, but he'll go to the line for two more. So the foul will be called on Matt Banovitz. It's going to be his third of the game, team's third of the half. So Thomas will go to the line for two more. Thomas with eight points already in today's game, looking to get the double figures. And he's able to get that first one. So three subs coming in for Carlton. It's going to be Luke Harris, Sam Coling, and Alex Gewins all checking back in. And for St. Scholastica, Mo Washington and Aaron Kiko will check in for Noah Weinstead and Luke Raymond here with 10.48 to play in half number two. Knights lead 58-45. And Thomas can't get that second one to go. Rebound will go to Gibbons. Give it off here to Harris. We'll bring it up for Saints. Colla- or excuse me, for Carlton. This one off to Gibbons. Wanted a screen there from Coling. Not going to use it. Harris kick out three. Not going to go. Trying to move this one around. Carlton still hasn't got a shot. I've had a number of shots. Mo Washington will get the steal. He's going to try and go coast to coast. Kick it back out to Crockett. Three pointer. Now he's short. Rebound will go to Chuck Sweat. Carlton had a number of open looks in that last possession. I thought they were going to take at least a few shots. They've been aggressive all night. Mid-range jumper going there for Alex Gibbons. I thought they were going to take some few shots there on that last possession. Instead, the ball is on the floor, and Washington got away with the steal. So Gibbons gets the mid-range jumper for the Knights. Up back lead, back up to 15 points. Here's Washington trying to make a move on Gibbons. Trying to find a backdoor cutting. Thompson's going to be off his foot. Knights pushing it up quickly. Here's Harris trying to go all the way. Use the left hand. Yes, gets it to go. Luke Harris. Beautiful finish with the left hand. Goes up and under. And now Harris now with 18 points. Kiko with it. One step in on the free throw line. Washington for three. Of course. Mo Washington. Give it to him from the bank. The three-point line. 
Saints still lead, or still trail by 14 here. Knights lead 62-48, 9.20 to play. Harris trying to use the pick and roll. Gibbons thought about the three-pointer, instead drives in. Now Sweat, now to Cummings. He wants the three-pointer. Responds, Gabriel Cummings. Getting his first points tonight in a key spot there. Responding with his three-pointer of his own to bring this lead back up to 17 for the Knights. Here's Washington coming off a pass from Kiko, trying to make a move on Sweat. Washington wants the three-pointer, not going to go. Rebound will go to Sam Coling. Harris will bring this one up, 8.50 to play. Saints trail by 17. Pass around, Gibbons trying to drive baseline on Thomas, not going to go. Harris trying to go all the way and trying to give this one to Coling. will go out of bounds of a turnover for the Knights. And checking in for the first time. Excuse me, checking in for the first time. John Carriger will check in for the Knights. As well as Bandovitz will check back in for Carlton. Knights lead 65-48. About eight and a half minutes left to play here in half number two. St. Scholastica desperately trying to get back into this one. Need to go on a big run. Thompson has this one now being guarded closely by Gibbons. Here's Crockett Jr. trying to make a move. Give it to Washington. Washington takes a nice power dribble. Give this one to Thomas. Little mid-range floater not going to go. Rebound will go to Benevitz. Harris bringing this one up for Carlton. Wants a screen for Banovitz. Saints able to defend that well. Harris with it. Back to Banovitz being guarded by Kiko. Carragher with it. First actually touching the ball today. Trying to go down low to Gibbons being guarded by Thompson. Back to his left. Gibbons will go up strongly and he's going to be fouled. So go up for two shots at the free throw line. I believe the foul might be on Tanner Thompson. If it is, it's going to be uh, his third. It will be. Thompson's had limited minutes today due to that foul trouble. So Gibbons will go to the line for two shots. I mentioned earlier, Gibbons entering day was 88.2% free throw shooter, but he missed his first one. And he'll miss this one here. So Gibbons not used to missing too many free throws as Luke Raymond will check back in for St. Scholastica for Kevin Thomas. Gibbons here will go to the line for one more. Knights lead 65-48, 7.53 to play. Gibbons able to respond and get that one to fall. Lead up to 18 points here. Crockett Jr. will bring this one up for St. Scholastica. Thompson with the top of the key. Got to keep him for himself. Give it to Washington. Rocket Jr. dribbling around the perimeter. Thompson wants the three-pointer. Of Yes! Tanner Thompson, give it to him, the three-pointer. Tanner Thompson's first three-pointer of the night. His first three-point attempt of the night as well. Hasn't had too many minutes tonight, but he's definitely a difference maker on this St. Scholastica squad, and he gets significant minutes. Banovitz with it now, trying to back down Raymond. Here's Harris with it. About 10 seconds left in the shot clock. Coling for three in the left corner. Yes, responds again. And a timeout called there by Ryan Kershaw. So the Knights have a 69-51 lead over St. Scholastica with just about seven minutes left to play. Stick around here, folks, for more Mayak action on the Mayak Sports Network and KDHL. The Carleton College academic environment is undeniably rigorous and challenging, but it's also uniquely supportive. Instead of competing, students embrace a spirit of collaboration. Unlike most colleges, Carleton has three 10-week terms per academic year, fall, winter, and spring, which allows students to focus more completely on their classes. Another way that Carleton develops leaders. Every part counts at Amesbury Truth. And the most important one is the part you'll play when you join their team. As the leading provider of window and door products in North America, Amesbury Truth has a part for you. Right now, they're hiring, and those positions come with competitive wages, benefits, and plenty of opportunities, too. So you never stop growing. Isn't it time you open the door to a career at Amesbury Truth? Get details and apply online at amesburytruth.com slash careers. Thought about the three-pointer instead trying to drive, get this one off to Kiko. Thompson diving to keep it alive. Instead, it's going to be poked away and given to by Alex Gibbons for the Knights. 
Banovitz has this one. He'll give it off back to Gibbons. And now Harris will pick this one up. Picked up his dribble though, trying to find back to Gibbons. Give and go, not going to fly as that passes Banovitz. Just one step ahead of Harris. So a turnover there for the Knights. We'll get back to the Saints ball here. 6.30 to play. Saints trail by 18. It's not over yet. Saints have to move quite quickly. They want to have a chance here. Here's Raymond with it. Takes one step in, trying to get this one to Crockett. Poked away by Harris. Benevitz trying to go all the other way, and he will finish. Matt Benevitz has played a huge impact for this squad today. All over on the outside of this perimeter, all low in the perimeter and the inside. Raymond has this one. Foots on the three-point line. Here go to Crockett. Crockett thought about the three-pointer. He'll take it. Give it to him. He's open for three. Why not let it fly? Andre Crockett Jr. now up to six points here. St. Scholastica still trailing 71-54. You're almost daring him to shoot it on that one. And Crockett said, don't mind if I do. Bannon takes a step now. Give it back to Carragher. Carragher with the crossover. And it's going to be a jump ball. There's both Raymond and Carragher are fighting for possession. It'll stay here with Carlton. Checking in for the Saints will be Noah Winesett and Coy Nelson. With 5.37 here to play. And checking in for Carlton as well will be Christo Polidoro. Polidoro with it now trying to give it down low to Gibbons. Right hand hook. There will be a foul called as Tanner Thompson, I believe, is going to pick up his fourth foul. And I think David Standard is going to have to go to someone else his fourth foul of the game. Unless he's just going to let him stick around. No subs are at the scores table, so Thompson's going to stick in this one. So Gibbons will go to the free throw line. He can't get that first one to fall. He'll go to the line for one more. Knights lead 71-54, 5.28 to play here. Left in this one. Skibbins goes 1-2 and two from the line here. Lead back up to 18 points here. Coy Nelson recently checked in. We'll try and kickstart this Saints offense. It's now from a pass from Kiko. Spin move, trying to go all the way, and he is fouled. And he'll go to the line for two shots. The foul's going to go on Polidoro. It's going to be his first of the game. So Nelson will go to the line for two shots. Nelson's able to get that first one to fall. Nelson entering today a 52.2% free throw shooter on the season so far. He's able to get that first one to fall. And Nelson's able to go 2-2 two two there. So the Saints now bring this lead back down to 16. Five minutes to play. See if they have any life in them. Try and force a comeback at any sense. Gibbons has it now for the Knights. Give it off here to Benev- Banovitz. Now to Carragher being guarded by Thompson. Thompson does have four fouls. Banniger puts this one on the deck trying to find Polidoro. Scrambles and finds this one back out. And it's going to be off Gibbons. A great play from Noah Weinstead who tipped the pass. And Gibbons was going to allow it to go out of bounds. Instead, Weinstead picked it up and threw it off him to go out of bounds. So a great play from Noah Weinstead, a hustle play to force the ball to go back in their direction. Nelson with it now being guarded by Polidoro. Slipped for a second. Ball got tipped. It's going to be taken away by the Knights. I'm sure t- trying to find cutting Thompson. Thompson didn't see it was tipped. Instead, now going in the direction of the Knights. Gibbons with it. Give it off to Calgary. Thought about it. Puts it on the deck. Trying to go by Thompson. Blocked by Raymond. Saints have numbers. It's 2-1-1. On one. Nelson trying to go all the way. Finishes on the other end. Coy Nelson's up to a double figures as he's got 11 points on a great block from Luke Raymond. Perfectly timed block as it went right to Nelson. Nelson just improvised and went all the way. Trying to get this one to Coling here being guarded by Kiko. Banovitz with it. Giving it off to Gibbons. He wants the three-pointer. Not going to go. Thompson comes away with a key rebound, and there's going to be a foul called. Foul's going to be called on John Carragher. It's going to be his second checking in for him, Luke Harris, and checking back in Spencer Getz. He'll check in now for Polidoro. 
Saints have momentum here. Four minutes, they're down 14. It sounds like a lot, but this team can move quickly if they hit their shots. Nelson will give this one to Winesett, top of the key. Three-pointer coming from Nelson. Not going to go. The rebound will go to Coling. Nelson had the open look. That's the look if your coach David Stanger would take. Nelson's one of the better three-point shooters on this team. Harris with it. Give it off here to Gibbons. Trying to go down low to Banovitz. Being guarded by Raymond. I think he might go back to that left hook. And yes, he does. And gets it to fall for Matt Banovitz. Been all over the board this half and last half as well. Leading score on this team. At least got 24 in the game. Trying to give this one to Nelson. He'll kick it back with the Thompson. He wants the three-pointer. That one's not going to go. Rebound will go to Spencer Getz. Harris Wigan bring it up the left side. Getting his screen from Coling. Thought about the three-pointer. Instead, he'll pull it out. Banovitz has this one poked away. It was stolen by Raymond. Nelson trying to go all the way. Raymond was trying to give this one to Nelson. Nelson couldn't secure it. So a turnover for St. Scholastica. And there will be a foul called as well in the transition. And it's going to be on Luke Raymond. That will put Carlton on the free throw line as they are now entering the bonus. We'll see who's going to go to the line for two shots. Or excuse me, for the one and one, it'll be Spencer Getz. Getz has eight points in this one today, trying to get up to double figures and become the fourth player in double figures. So can't get that first one. Nelson comes away with the rebound. Nelson trying to give this pass to a cutting Thompson. Said it's batted away. Nelson with it. Wants a screen from Raymond. Driving. Thought about the shot. He'll kick it back out to Winesett instead. Saints have to move quickly here. Winesett wants to go all the way and does. So Winesett now up to 13 points. 2.40 to play. Saints trail 74 to 60. Carlton just trying to manage the clock here as they are up 14. Harris will drive on Thompson. Almost had him with the hook. This pass tipped away for a second. Knight's still able to recover with it. It's Coling with it. Give it to Harris. Banovitz swings it's around to Spencer Getz. Coling wants the three-pointer. Yes! Sam Coling now. He's in double figures. Has four of the five starters on the floor today. All the double figures. As Nelson will dribble to David Standry. He'll call timeout with 2.06 to play. The only one not in double figures is Spencer Getz, but he's got eight points. It's going to be a 30-second timeout. We'll stick with you here as there's just 2.06 to play. Knights lead 77-60. to Saints have had their moments today, but just haven't been able to get the run that Carlton has had, especially towards the end of the first half. And just throughout the second half, the Saints have not been able to really crack the momentum as they are now find themselves down 17 with two minutes to play. The odds look bleak here for David Sander and the Saints. If Carlton's able to hold on here, they'll pick up their 11th win of the season and involve, excuse me, extend now to 8-5 and five in the Mayak. Their next game will be on the 31st. They'll be at home against St. Olaf. Saints' next game will be on the 31st as well. They will play Gus Davis at home as at 7 p.m. You can find both those games on the MyX Sports Network. I want to thank today KDHL for hosting this game on their radio station. It's been a great day here. Cameron Green here doing the play-by-play today. Grateful to have anyone listening today with us. Winesett has this one on the handout from Ojula. Wants to go up strong and will... And he's going to go to the free throw line for two shots. See if this foul is going to be on. So the foul is going to be called there on Sam Coling. It'll be his third team six. So the Saints will enter the bonus in the next night's foul. So Winesett's able to get that first one now. Put him up at 14. He's the leading scorer. And it looks like the Saints are going to dig deep into their bench now. Undressing a number of players taking the warm-ups off. And we'll get it to you in a second. It's going to be four or five players checking in. As both teams are going to enter with different players here. Give us a second here to see who is on the floor. For the Saints, I see Owen Larson, Ben Raymond, Anthony Mould. Winds up still the line for one more. Kobe Carls as well checking in for St. Scholastica. Can't get that second one to go, so Weinstein's going to be sticking in. Ethan Russell's checking in for him. So the young squad here, the future of Saints basketball on the floor right now. Cummings with it. He checked in as well as Chuck Sweat here has got it. He checked in as well for 
Carlton, three-pointer coming there from Carragher, not going to go. Rebound will go here to Mahold. And the sub timeout being called as Ethan Russell can get in the game for Noah Wines at minute 35 to play. Knights lead 77 to 61. It's always good to see you know, both teams get to their benches. We'll see who else gets in here for Carlton. Franzito gets in as well. I see checking in for Carlton. Here's Russell with it. Being guarded here by number 33, Podoro. Saints moving it around here. Mahold has it. Give it off here to Ben Raymond. His three-pointer not going to go. Tipped away for a second. Kept away by Ethan Russell. His floater, yes! Ethan Russell gets some points today. And he's going to be padded, passed out of bounds so the Saints will keep possession. There's going to be an injury on the floor. It's Gabriel Cummings on the floor. It's hard to tell what he injured. These both teams will kind of back away, give him some help right by the Saints bench. Let's see exactly what is the problem. Non-contact injury, so we don't know if he maybe rolled an ankle. Tough to say, though, but for Ethan Russell, Russell's only played five games this season. So that's his sixth game of the year. He's only had five points in those contests, so Russell now gets his seventh point on the season. And it looks like checking in for him is going to be Sam Coling. We'll check in for him. Unless they get Coling to try and get him up. Piers, that's what it's going to be. It looks like Miles Frisch will check in for the Knights. It's coming they're not putting any weight on his left ankle. I right, tweaked that one. So look at that ankle looked at here. A minute oh six to play. Knights lead 77-63. Ethan Russell getting his first points tonight in the Saints' last possession. So they'll get another chance here. It's Anthony Mahold here. 6'3", freshman from Sartell. Kobe Carls, 6'2", freshman from Cambridge, Isani. Ethan Russell on the floor, a 6-foot junior from Henry Sibley High School in Minneapolis. Ben Raymond, a 6'3", freshman from Concordia Academy. Just as Luke Raymond is going up strong here. No basket. They're not going to say not hold the and one. going to be a foul on the floor. But regardless... Anthony Mahold will go the line for a one and one. They wanted to get the one and one. It will not go. So Chuck Sweat's going to pick up his first foul. Mahold will go the line for the one and one. Mahold yet to score this season. He's played in six contests. And we'll have to wait there as he cannot get the free throw to go. Rebound will go to Carragher. Polidoro brings this one up for the Knights. Here, get off the Frisch. We get back here to Sweat. Back to Polidoro. Wants the mid-range jumper over Russell. It's going to miss everything. But like, Sweat's able to keep this one in bounds. Using nice toes there. Using nice toes. Looking like a ballerina. He throws it off. Mahol. It will go out of bounds. It will stay here with the Knights. 12 seconds left in the shot clock. 34.4 ticks left in the game. Here's Sweat with it. Trying to back down Mahol. Kick this one out. Frisch thought about the three-pointer. Gets up. Give the Carragher step back three-pointer. Not going to go. Mahold will get the rebound. Here's Ethan Russell. Bring this one up quickly for St. Scholastica. Russell wants the three-pointer. Not going to go. Rebound will go to Sweat. And I think that will do it here, folks, as Carlton is going to walk away here with its 11th win of the season. They'll advance to 11-7 and seven on the season. Picking up their eighth My- Mayak win of the season. St. Scholastica will see that winning streak, excuse me, the losing streak extend Two seven games, unfortunately, as they fall to two and sixteen and one and eleven in Mayak play. As the Knights walk away here, winners with a score of seventy-seven to sixty-three. So for our listeners on the Mayak Sports Network and KDHL, I'm Cameron Green. Want to thank you for tuning in today. Want to wish you the best rest of your day wherever you may be. 
And thank you to Cameron for his call this afternoon of the Carlton Knights 77-63 victory over St. Scholastica in Duluth. And thank you to St. Scholastica for letting us access their feed to the game today as Gordy Coswell continues to recover and in doing well uh, from his medical procedure that he had last week. And both he and Jerry, Jerry was on a cruise last week, Gordy was out uh, dealing with his medical issue, and they should both be back in the studio this coming week. So thank you for listening to Carl Tonight's Basketball this afternoon on the Mighty 920 KDHL and 97.9 FM. We are all familiar with these kinds of banks. The ever-popular snow bank that either your neighbor has backed into or their neighbor kids sliding on with their friends. Then there's the blood bank, which, by the way, always a good idea to give blood. But are you familiar with First United Bank with locations in Faribault and Owatonna? At First United Bank, banking is all about relationships and working towards a common goal of financial security. Get to know the most popular bank in the area, First United Bank, member FDIC. Faribault Foods has been a pillar of the Faribault community since 1895. and the leading manufacturer of high-quality canned foods that are dedicated to providing wholesome and delicious recipe-ready food. Keep your pantry stocked with canned beans and vegetables for easy meals at your fingertips. Use Mrs. Grimes beans in your favorite soups, chilies, or tacos. And butter kernel vegetables as a side dish that your family will love. For more meal inspiration, visit MrsGrimesBeans.com or ButterKernel.com. Carleton College is committed to providing a true liberal arts education, a curriculum that challenges students to learn broadly and think deeply. Instead of training for one narrow career path, Carleton students develop the knowledge and skills to succeed in any walk of life. Carleton students learn critical thinking, problem solving, use creativity and effective communication tools to transform a collection of facts and figures into a way of understanding the world. Since the turn of the century, Federated Mutual Insurance Company and many of our employees have called Owatonna home. We work hand in hand with our neighbors through giving, volunteering and focusing on community initiatives. We invest in this community because we love to see opportunities and advancements such as the new high school and the downtown developments. We enjoy seeing the citizens of our great community continue to grow and thrive. And above all, we are proud to be part of Owatonna's rich history and all that Owatonna has to offer. All the latest news, weather, and sports, just the way you like them. On the Mighty 920 KDHL.